Congratulations, your favorite VTuber has finally noticed you after hours and hours of watching live streams and many videos of comments, the VTuber of your dreams has given you an ounce of attention. Now, what's important is, what are you going to do now, little Timmy? No idea? Well, don't worry, I have just a list of things to do to make sure that you don't creep her out and can continue to get the love and adoration you so desperately need. Let's get started. Number one. Your VTuber has to maintain a level of animity. It's the internet, dear Timmy. And that means that there are a lot of unsavory types looking to stalk and do other, less than legal things. Depending on your area. One of the main advantages to being a VTuber is that your personal information and details of your identity can remain a secret. Please keep that in mind when trying to interact with the VTuber of your choice. Number two, even if the VTuber that you are currently following isn't explosively popular, do keep in mind that if they were looking for a relationship, you probably aren't their first pick. And they probably wouldn't go to a stranger over social media, various chat rooms, or internet forums to find a relationship. Do keep in mind that if a VTuber is interacting with you personally, it's more than likely to ensure that you continue to consume the content that they create on the internet. After all, that is the entire point to their existence. Tip number three. Don't ask them to do a face reveal. Many VTubers are dedicated to their character, but even those who aren't are probably not going to reveal their real face to you. If they wanted to do so, they would be a regular YouTuber or live streamer. This means that asking for any information, description, or pictures of them that you don't regularly see on their social media or channel is off of the table. From their point of view, these would be considered types of stalking, and will most definitely get you banned, blocked, and ignored. Being friends with a VTuber is most definitely different than having regular friends that you can just go and hang out with, so please keep that in mind when you're messaging or commenting on anything that they may post. Many, but not all, VTubers might give you a little bit of a break should you cross the line one or two times, so it's very, very important that you pick up on the subtle hints that they give when you've overstepped your boundaries, such as deflection, changing the subject, ignoring your responses, replying with ellipses, or just plain pretending that you didn't ask any questions at all. Should you continue to push the issue, the VTuber will eventually block you and ban you, or do anything in their power to cease communications with you wherever and whenever possible. Remember, take the hint. Don't be dense. That's all the time we have for today, but more tips on how to interact with your VTuber will be uploaded to this channel so be sure to check back regularly. Good luck out there, and remember, your waifu isn't unapproachable, but she does have boundaries that need to be respected. Thank you for watching, and please, if you know anybody who doesn't know their boundaries, send them this video. It might not be too late. Congratulations, your favorite VTuber has